Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Reverend Mike Gargrave, Minister, Thornley Bank Parish Church. Presiding officer, members of Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you today. I am the Minister, Church of Scotland Minister of Thornley Bank Parish Church in South West Glasgow, and I am grateful to Jackson Carlow for nominating me to deliver the time of reflection. I just wish my granny was here to see me, although I am sure if she was, she would be unbearable. I thought about what I wanted to say today, and I'd, I think I'd like to express my admiration for you. I have a great respect for what you do, for the commitment you have to the people you serve. And I know that there are times as a parish minister when I can find the role challenging, especially when people have expectations of me based on their idea of what a minister should be. And most people have these expectations. You too, in your service, will have to live with the expectations of your constituents and of the nation. And each person will have different expectations. The criticism you receive at times is appalling and mostly unfair. People tend to forget that you entered politics to serve not for anything you get, but to serve, and that's admirable. You know, it's easy to criticise, and I believe that we should stop and remember that there's always more that unites us than divides us. And while we may have different opinions on political parties, football teams, religion, and questions relating to other issues, we are all people sharing our communities together. In the New Testament of the Bible, Galatians 3, verse 28, tells us that there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, there is neither male or female, for you are all one. And it, tends, it ends with, in Christ Jesus. If you are a Christian, then the, the in Christ Jesus is relevant to you. But if you, are, if you are of another faith, or even none, this short verse makes this point. We are all one, and while we have our differences, surely we can learn to live and work together as one. We are living through ever-changing times. As I get older, I find myself occasionally questioning the values of these days. But there again, I question some of the values of my youth, and I recognise we live in better times, with more understanding, more grace towards each other. Regardless of how we react to the changing values of our times, I hope we can still find a respect within us for the other, an acceptance for the other. Through accepting and respecting the difference of others, we learn and we grow together, and consequently we become better people. Through accepting and learning from others, we develop characteristics that benefit our societies and our communities. I want to end with another short Bible passage from Matthew 25:40. The king will reply, truly I tell you, what you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. I pray that folk learn to be kinder, more respectful and accepting of others, especially the least of us. I also pray for each one of you here in this chamber, that you remain strong as you continue to go through changes and serve our nation. Thank you for your time today. Thank you, Reverend Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.